Hi, my name is Stephen from SteadyMaker. Now you have unboxed your SMG Evo and you checked the, the components are there. Now we will look into the construction and pre-balancing. The main component is the three axis stabilizer. Uh, the battery is in the handle and you have three motors of stabilization. You have your pitch motor, which controls the uh, up and down axis. You have your roll motor at the back. This controls the, the rolling of the camera and you have your yaw motor at the base. This controls the left and right action. The most important part of the process is going to be pre-balancing your stabilizer. Now, pre-balancing is an important part of all stabilizers and the principle is the same. You will balance each axis individually and tweak it until your camera is naturally balanced before you switch the motors on. This is important because if your camera is well balanced in your stabilizer, then the motors will not have to work very hard in order to correct the horizon and to keep it straight and level. How do we go about this? Well, the first thing is you have a base plate. So we're going to unscrew the base plate and take it out. And it's a very simple uh, standard base plate that you, you will then screw into the base of your camera. Now I am using a Panasonic GH4. This is uh, my own camera of choice. I like this because it's a relatively light camera. It works equally well with the weight range for the SMG Evo and the Tank Plus. Remember the Tank Plus is for mid-range to large-range DSLR setups. Uh, the Evo is for light to mid-range setups. It can take some digital cameras as well, point and shoot cameras with manual lenses, for example. You have some cameras that are on the heavier end of the range, like the GH4 or the Canon uh, 6D, for example. If you want heavier, larger DSLR setups, I recommend you look into using the Tank Plus. This will give you an extra level of stability. So you remove the base plate from your SMG Evo and you screw it into the bottom of your camera. Quite simple. Now some cameras have uh, a LED screen at the back. Some LED screens are able to be moved. I would recommend that you leave your LED screen in its standard position. If it can be moved to the side, this might affect the balance in the stabilizer. So I would just use the LED in its standard position. If you, uh, if you have the ability to move it around, make sure it's at the back. You use your handheld stabilizer as a point and shoot really, uh, where you point, uh, you see. So I prefer to keep it looking straight at it. So you screw the, the, the base on to your, uh, to your camera, and then you attach the base to your stabilizer. So the first step is to pre-balance each axis individually. Uh, you want to isolate each axis as you balance and then make sure that that's straight and level. What you're looking for is you want to stand your stabilizer straight and level and don't worry about the other axis right now. You can hold the, uh, the gimbal motor like this because the camera is switched off. Right now you're looking to adjust the pitch, uh, to adjust the pitch. You adjust the pitch by moving the camera backwards and forwards. Uh, in the base plate. You can slide it forwards and then tighten it and then check your balance. So right now I'm only worried about the pitch balance and what I'm looking for is it to get straight and level. So you would tweak the adjustments forwards and backwards until your camera is balanced straight and level. I'm going to have a look at mine and I can see it's a little front heavy. So what I will do is I will nudge it backwards a little, loosen it, nudge it backwards and tighten it and then have another look keeping hold of the, the other gimbal. And that looks pretty good to me. That looks straight and level. So now your camera should be straight and level in the pitch axis, which is the up and down axis. Once it's balanced in the pitch axis, then you will need to balance it in the uh, roll axis, which is the one at the back. For the roll axis, you will need your Allen key. You will loosen the Allen screw and you will slide uh, the gimbal motor backwards and forwards in your, your gimbal. So now you're looking for it to be centered. 
So you can nudge it to the left, nudge it to the right until it's centered. So right now you can see that it's tilted to the right. So I will want to nudge it to along to the right, along to the right hand side to balance it. Still right hand side heavy. And now it's a little left hand side that's heavy. So the principle is you nudge it backwards and forwards in the slider until you find it straight and level. Feels like it's straight and level. Let's have a check. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to tighten my Allen screw back in to the slider at the back because that's the best balance location I can find. So now you have a good balance in the pitch and the roll gimbals. The last thing you need to adjust is the yaw motor. Uh, now to adjust the yaw, you put your camera on the side like this. And what you're looking for is a straight and level balance in this way, this axis this time. Same principle as the last one. You make small adjustments in one axis until you have a balance. And again, it's small movements up and down the slider until you feel it's balanced. So it looks like I need to go forward. That looks pretty good. When you adjust one axis, it tends to change the balance in the other two axes. So what you're doing is you're isolating one axis and then balancing it, isolating another axis, then balancing it. And you'll make smaller and smaller and smaller adjustments in all three axes until you have pre-balanced your stabilizer. Okay, it's nice and tight. So let's put it back to the default position. Uh, let's have a look. Now it looks like I need to need to balance a little more in the yaw axis. You don't have to be 100% accurate because the motors will do the work, but you need to be as close as you can. The closer you are in pre-balancing, the less the motors will have to work to balance your camera during its operation. So pre-balancing is an important stage. Okay, so let's have a look. Now I'm just checking. That's pretty good. So now it's pre-balanced in your, your, uh, your stabilizer. You have, it, you have a, good, a good balance in the pitch and the roll and the yaw. Once that's pre-balanced, uh, then you would switch on your stabilizer. To switch on your stabilizer, there is a yellow button at the back here. Uh, push and hold the yellow button at the back. You'll hear it tones. So the default when you switch it on is follow mode. This means the gimbals will attempt to follow where you are pointing the camera. If I tilt the camera down, you see that it tilts it down. If I tilt the camera, the stabilizer up, you see that it pans the stabilizer up uh, to tilt the camera up. So it's trying to follow my, my direction of my hand. If I adjust the yaw, in other words, pointing to the left and right, you'll see that it attempts to follow where I am pointing. So this is your default mode. This is follow mode. If I press two quick presses on the silver button on front, you'll hear another beep. Now the camera is locked in the pitch. It maintains a straight and level no matter how I pitch my stabilizer. However, it still follows in the yaw. So the yaw axis still attempts to turn the camera where I am pointing my hand but the pitch is locked. If I press it three times at the front, another set of tones, and now it is locked in both the pitch and the yaw, which means it maintains a straight and level wherever I point. So if I try and adjust the pitch, it keeps the camera straight. If I try and adjust the yaw, it still keeps the camera straight. So you can see straight in the pitch and straight in the yaw. The last mode we have is what's called a calibration mode. Calibration mode, if you've experienced some extra balance issues with your camera, uh, it's not looking straight and level or it's drifting, you can press four quick presses on here. So what it's doing is just a very quick calibration to adjust the horizon. So now when I press it once, now it's back to follow mode and this will now attempt to follow where I'm using the camera. One thing you notice at the back of the handle where your thumb is, you have a red 
joystick. This can control the pitch and the yaw of your camera just by using your thumb. So for example, I can now turn it to the left and the right by using the thumb and also pitch it up and down. So this is good for adjusting the angle while you're shooting. As well as using follow mode, you can also use the joystick to give some extra angles depending on where you want to point your stabilizer.